I'm excited that you're here, Denise. Hey, and massive congratulations on the win over Julie Meza Barber. The performance was incredible. How do you feel coming off that victory? Um, I, I'm so happy because I see her like in actual like she's she's so big like she's so bulk. <laughs> so I, I was like scared um at first because I think she, she can like overpower me, but yeah. I've just done what I, I need to do. <laughs> well, it seems like at the new camp that you're working at, there's been some clear and present changes in, in, in your game, like the jab and then jab one, two combination. That was so good. Like we're seeing new developments in your game and, and, and we saw it in that fight, right? Yeah. Um, my last two fights, um, I train here in Philippines. That's why we train a bit of my striking and improve some of my striking yeah and i think it really showed in that matchup and now you're going to be bringing all the new striking acumen into your next fight at 1167 against a former teammate stamp fairtex yeah. like this is like you have to be excited for this fight even though it's a teammate right yeah of course because this we're fighting for a for a build we're talking about the the dream you know <laughs> yeah that's why Oh yeah, absolutely. And this you would be the first female MMA champion from the Philippines. What does that sentence mean to you? Um just hearing those those words it's really like um I just can't believe this will th this is happening, you know. I've I've been waiting for this um opportunity for a long time. Now it's here. I'll just do whatever just do whatever and and let's say you get the you you get the win you get the big shiny belt how are you going to celebrate uh of course we're going to eat some some donut and pizza to celebrate <laughs> no of course we're going to eat together me and stump will we'll eat together <laughs> so win or lose will the yep. kiss be completed <laughs> up to her <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm in, I'm down. Stamp is. <laughs> oh, absolutely awesome stuff. Now, I do want to know about your workout routine, though. You were commenting on Julie Meza Barbara, but you yourself, uh, like the abs, the biceps, what is your workout routine? Uh, it's just a uh, it's just a normal routine of fighter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like squat or something, and I just do some a lot of ab workout. I think they just they just uh it's my first time to to wear sports bra that's why i shown a lot of muscles last time that's mm. why a lot of people are like oh denise but they didn't they didn't know before that i'm already like like that kind of body that's why <laughs> yeah no absolutely absolutely that's that's fair it's a slight change of clothes and everything looks different <laughs> uh, and we had a question from one of your fans as well they wanted to know knowing that you were one of the pioneers of women's mma in the philippines do you have any other filipina fighters that we should keep an eye on yeah i think there's a lot but um when it comes like to professional level you can you can count it on my own hands you know there's not yeah. a lot of uh female in philippines and also i don't have uh like a training partner or um training partner of female here in philippines i just train with with a lot of boys <laughs> And a lot of skilled boys as well. Like uh, a lot of them are in TNT kickboxing and stuff like that in the Philippines, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're included in a lot of um, promotion here in Philippines. Absolutely. No, it's a very talented uh, um, uh, gym at T-Rex MMA. But you were saying like it's hard to get women to train and it's hard to get women, especially in your size. But you were actually brought into Fairtex specifically to train with Stamp. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about this. <laughs> um i'm actually like um doing no i have a job here in philippines and then i got an email to fairtex to to train there and train with stamp to to become her one of the training partners so i just f go to 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 thailand to train and i think it was two years training training there and it's all good oh yeah all good and you were was it working at a university before what were you doing there 
No, um, I actually graduated in university, and then after that, I, I I am working, and then I think one year working, and then after that, I pursue MMA. Pursue MMA, and who are some of the people that you looked up to in MMA as inspirations for your career? There's a lot of um, MMA fighters that I'm look looking up to, but one that I'm I like Demetrius Johnson because oh yeah I, like from the from the poor family and then um he pursued his dreams to become an MMA MMA fighter. Oh yeah, DJ is absolutely awesome. But now let you're going to be getting the belt next. There's going to be a lot of young people in the Philippines, especially young women looking up to you as one of their heroes. What advice would you pass on to these people? Yeah, um by becoming Fili Filipina, first Filipina MMA world champion, I would like to inspire a lot of female athletes to pursue this kind of sports because some of them are like scared or um, they think these sports are only for, for men. But no, I want them to inspire that this is, women can also do this sport, you know. Absolutely. It can be very intimidating to get into a gym, especially get into a gym as a woman. If you are feeling intimidated or, or nervous for going into the gym for the first time as a woman, what would you, what advice would you pass on to them? Um, I just tell them that this is normal, you know, <laughs> this is normal. Women can also, women needs to do this, <laughs> not only for, for fighting, but also for their self-defense or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And it's, it, you've also created a lot of great friendships through that division. And I think it's just a bunch of cool people in the women's atom weight division. Cause like, uh, Jihin Radzuan, very cool person, former yeah. opponent, former opponent of stamp now stamps training partner, you now fighting stamp, former trade. Like it's a bunch of cool people there, right? Like how do you fight people who are kind of cool? Yeah, it's very hard, you know, especially stamp. Um, yeah, there's a lot of atom weight fighters that I'm, I'm talking to that they're really cool. But one of the, the my closest friends is Stump. Um, yeah. it's really hard to think that we're fighting, especially last week when we we're together. It's like, it's like a normal, you know, a normal friend. It's really I know hard. it looked. You guys were doing TikTok dances <laughs> together. It looked like a bunch of fun, but you guys have to fight in a few weeks. Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's move forward here. I want to ask about Zoe. Zoe is your is is that your dog? Yeah, Zoe is my dog. Tell me a little how bit about Zoe. It's adorable. Her name. How do you know her name? Oh, it's my job to know. This is this is a thing. You're <laughs> Denise. I. It's my job to know. <laughs> also, the dog's name. <laughs> absolutely. How, how old is the dog now? It's so cute. Um, she's. Turning seven this month. Oh, seven. Oh, my God. <laughs> so cute. Are, is, is he living with you or living at family? No, she's living with me. Oh, awesome stuff. Okay, <laughs> now, if I do find myself in Quezon City, so I my, my wife is Filipino originally, so we oh, traveled really? there to the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So her family's from Cebu originally, so we traveled there oh. and, and Baguio area. But if I find myself in Quezon City, what do you recommend some of the food that we have to try? <laughs> Quezon City, just try my my mother's food <laughs> because I I actually like um born and raised here in Manila. Mm. I don't actually went to other province, but I want to go to Cebu. I have I haven't been to Cebu. <laughs> hey, hey, you're inviting me to Quezon City. I'm inviting you to Cebu. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe after my fight, I'll visit Cebu. Hey, if you're visiting Cebu, shoot me a message. Well, I'll show you around, all right? Okay, okay sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, is, is it true that you once very much liked, is it dry soap ASMR? Dry, yes, I like. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about this. Where does this come from? What was it like? It's like, like after you train and then you watch that video, it's like satisfying or something. It's like stress removal, you know? <laughs> Stress reliever. It, is that the one where they so the bar of soap and then they dice it and then cut it? Is that it, or do they do something else with it? Yeah, just just like that. 
you just dice the soap and then throw away after that. <laughs> Absolutely awesome stuff. Hey, I massively appreciate your time. You're going to be fighting Stamp Fairtex at 1167 on June 7th for the Adam Waite world title. Denise, you get the last word here. Talk us on out of here. Shout out who you need to shout out. Thank who you need to thank. All that good, good stuff. Yeah, I want to thank all my fans for supporting me. To all Filipino fans that supporting me and to all my sponsors and to my teammates and coaches that helping me through this through this uh through, through this career thank you so much